Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I have some more updates following the theme that I've been following about the potential threat of a major cyber attack hitting this world. The elite have been warning us for the past few years, and we've been seeing tons and tons of evidence that it could happen. I seen this report yesterday. I actually just made a video on it. The video is doing pretty well. There's about 700 views on it. And I shared this article. It says UK could be brought to a halt at any moment by a cyber attack. And this report was written by the Joint Committee on National Security. So it's a major, major um, credible institution. And they're saying that basically critical infrastructure are vulnerable to ransomware attacks. And the next day, not even a week, not even a month, Today, I wake up in the morning and I read this article. UK's Metro Bank's down, leaving customers without access to their accounts. Been talking about this potentially happening and now it's happening all over. UK's Metro Bank is down. Customers can't even access their money. Thousands of customers left without access. Concerns escalate. So literally the next day, a bank gets taken down mind blowing how fast things are happening right now. So um, what else? I want to show you something fun. So let's decode reality a little bit since we're on this theme lately. So if we go to uh, one of my followers, shout out to Michael. If you watching my videos, shout out to you, leave a comment. He says, anyone else sees this in the news? A bear was killed. The bear is dead. There was a bull on the uh, train track symbolizing the train leaving the station. It's a bull market, baby. <laughs> and pig slaughters are dead. So let's read what he means by this. So in today's news, a California man shoots a bear that bit him. And he had a standoff with his dog. We know dogs are have been doing very well in crypto. Have, did you guys know about this bonk coin that's been going absolutely berserk, themed off, of, themed off of a dog? A bunch of dog themed coins in Cosmos have been pumping. Dog coins are pumping everywhere, and in the news, People Magazine, a bear is killed after attacking a man during a standoff with his dog in California. This is just fun, guys. We're decoding reality. So here's another one. So um, at Penn Station, a bear, with, uh, a bull was on the loose. And look at this article. <laughs> so the Wall Street Journal post, it's a bull market, literally. We've been saying we're in a bull market. Now the elite are giving clues that, yeah, we're in a bull. We're in a full blown bull market. So sorry for the delay. The train has to steer clear of a bull. You see some of these coins are moving like freight trains right now. We're in the beginning stages of a full-blown bull rally. And the bears are finished. I've been saying it for a long time. The bears will be left behind in the dust. The bears are finished. The Dow Jones is at all-time highs. Crypto market is going to follow next. Crypto market is going to hit all, all time highs and the bears are dead, left behind. So let's read what he says about the next one. So this was also some recent news. Four charged by feds accused of running an $80 million pig butchering scheme. The four men are indicted for a pig butchering scheme. And we know the quote, bulls make money, bears make money. Pigs get slaughtered. It's a popular phrase for investors. But in this case, the bear is dead. The bull is on the track. Pig slaughters are indicted and done. Uh, I think it's a coincidence. Time will tell is what he posted. So shout out to my followers. I rock with each and every one of you guys. Thank you for sending me cool decodes like this. That's just a fun one. So now we've been on this theme of cyber attacks and leave the world behind barack obama and michelle produces hit movie on netflix right 
And this hit movie on Netflix displays a cyber attack. And I've been showing and talking about cyber attacks for a long time, how it connects to, you know, crypto, blockchain, new financial markets, etc. cetera. But um, there's, I want to move on to other topics, but I want to show you one more clip. I want to show you one more clip. And uh, let me show you that clip right now. And in this movie, there's a symbol you probably did not catch. Right when they go in the road, they can pick the red pill or the blue pill, in a sense. You can take exit 76 to Point Comfort, which means you're going to be going into slavery. Or you can choose Fort Mose Road, which means you're going into freedom. Now, this is very subtle, but this is what that means. Because Point Comfort is where slavery began 400 years ago. Point Comfort, where slavery in America began 400 years ago. And you can see the W96. And the girl is wearing the 96 tattoo. Fort Mose Road is where it ended. Fort Mose became the site of the first legally sanctioned free African community in the U.S. So the way that I viewed that scene is we have a choice to make. We could either sit back and choose slavery, which is the great reset, what the elite are planning for us. Or we could choose another path and choose to go down the golden timeline and pers persevere becoming sovereign and free, which is going to take effort. First of all, you have to understand what the plan is because what the plan is, they want to have a society of haves and haves nots. They want a two tier society. The elites want a two tier society. If you don't understand what I'm saying is America was always, uh, you had the lower class, you had middle class, then you had the upper class. They want to destroy the middle class. They want to have the elites, the upper class, and the slave class, the haves and haves nots. And that is kind of also what was symbolic in that uh, video we just watched. That is part of what the Great Reset is all about. The middle class is shrinking. Everyone knows this. The data will even show you this. They're going to do more and more. The housing crisis currently, they're reporting this is new news. Housing crisis could be the death knell for America's middle class. They have a boot on us, stepping on us, trying to destroy the middle class. They want to create a slave class in this new system. Are you surprised? We're covering the World Economic Forum on this channel. What do they say? You will own nothing and you will be happy. What is that? You're choosing to go down the path of um, point comfort, right? So point comfort is where slavery began. So that is where slavery, basically, um, they land it in Point Comfort. And um, that's where all the slaves were. And Fort Moe's is where people escaped who chose to become free. So F Fort Moe's was the first legally sanctioned free black town, what is now the United States. So before you get gloom and doom, understand that you have a choice. Yes when these big attacks are happening, some of these banks might have issues like these customers at UK Metro banks. But if you find an alternative system with amazing technology that's distributed like on a blockchain, we I believe we're going to be like the people that chose to take the path of Fort Moe's and the people that sit back and do nothing, eat Doritos, watch the news, don't take action, don't invest, don't try anything new. They're the people choosing point comfort, which is the path down to slavery, the great reset. So, um, you know, I didn't pick up on that. There's a lot of decodes in that video, but I'm going to move on from that subject. I hope you like this series I put together for you guys. Tomorrow, I got a bunch of exciting crypto videos to make for you. There's so much happening right now. It's like I got to just live stream all day to get all the information I need to get out to you guys. So make sure to subscribe, turn my notifications on, and I will see you guys tomorrow.